My name's Catherine Boudreau, and my dad lives here. Well, my dad um, had a fall um, and subsequently was hospitalized, you know, three different hospitalizations, you know, eventually ending up in rehab, and then home, which was fantastic, but, and, and necessary, because we needed to see, you know, home was a goal for him, and we needed to see if that would work. I sought the advice of both friends, my family members, of course, and I talked to a geriatric care coordinator who, you know, put the bug in my ear about assisted living. I had not visited an assisted living facility at that point. And she told me to call Mary Ellen King here at Concord Park. Mary Ellen King, without knowing me or my dad, and my dad wasn't a candidate at that point. He was in the hospital. It was unclear really how things were going to go. Spent more than an hour on the phone with me, long, much longer, sort of listening to our story and just gave me a world of help and information about the things I should be thinking about and when assisted living might be appropriate for my dad were he to make the kind of progress that he needed. In order for the family to be able to do some of the things that we need to do and for Rosalie to receive the level of care that she needed and the level of companionship, you know, it was it was time to start looking at, at living communities. When we got here, they had on some great like music from like the World War II era and the, just in the in the lobby and that um, she immediately tuned into that and she started to dance like in the lobby and then the the woman who was going to be interviewing comes out and she starts to dance and they dance all the way down the hall to the interview and by then like everybody was laughing and so comfortable that it went absolutely beautifully and they ended up saying you're exactly the kind of person we want here so it was great but that's I think that's a testament to the, the staff here. And I mean, they just put everybody at ease. Almost every time I come in, there's somebody from the staff talking with her, whether it's an aide or it's Bonnie at the front desk, or it's one of the guys who works in maintenance. And they're they're really, you know, they're they're touching base with everybody. They're having great conversations and it's it's really a loving environment. And I think what's really great is that I think everybody here feels seen. She doesn't sit still for very long. <laughs> in fact, pretty much we have a huge family and everybody knows not to call during the day because she won't be in her room. So they have to call after 6 p.m. at night. She, she is so active here in the community that she's never in her room. If you, if you get bored, it's your own fault. In other words. <laughs> uh, so my, my wife developed Alzheimer's and I took care of her for at least six years. It was a total period of about eight years when I was basically by myself uh, living in the house. The house was too big for me. So my daughters were the ones who found uh, Concord Park for me. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and it was really one of the best moves. It was, it was probably the best move I could have made. Yeah. And uh, so this is my home now. <laughs> When he was more mobile, it was also really appealing to us that there were, you know, the bike path is right nearby and the conservation land behind and just being in the center of a town so that it, he wouldn't, I felt like he wouldn't feel quite as isolated. So yeah, other yeah. places that are kind of off on their own. And um, so that was, de that's definitely a draw that we all feel grateful that he has um, not only the three meals a day, um, but socialization, you know, other other people around and activities planned for him throughout the day. One of the facts that Natasha informed us about when we were considering Concord Park was the fact that they really pay a great deal of attention to the nutrition, nutritional value of the food as well as how healthy it is, but also appealing. And I think um, getting um, my mother to eat healthy foods was not always easy. She had her favorites but they're able to um, prepare it in a way that is so appealing to her that she enjoys it and doesn't really think about how healthy it is. We were doing a lot for her and my biggest concern, frankly, was she wasn't eating enough. I was doing all the cooking for her, taking her shopping, um, but she would forget to eat her meals. And so that was a major factor in our deciding to move her into a more structured environment. And I will say that um, it's, it's a highlight for her here 
at Concord Park. She really enjoys going down to the dining room and being with her friends. She's put on 25 pounds Never. in the year and a half that Never. she's lived here, um, which her doctor says is absolutely fine. It tells me the food is good and that she's getting her nutrition. Studies have shown that if you eat in company, it's much better for you, both psychologically as well as physically. Mm -hmm. And I think it certainly shows in the way mom has adapted to being in Concord Park. Hi, my name is Kathy Ferris. I'm Tabby Burek. Well, I have to say that Kathy has been very kind and introduced me to everybody when I first moved in. And that made it, the transition much easier than it could have been if you're not the most outgoing person in the world. And I, I, that's what I wanted to do, to make her feel as welcome as I did when I moved in. And you did a good job. Well, thank you, Tappy. I just want to say that when you, when I came to Concord Park, I was doing jigsaw puzzles by myself at my kitchen table. Now that i have in Concord Park, I'm in the living room doing jigsaw puzzles with ladies who are now my friends. And I will tell you, my moving here has made my children so happy because they tell me they see the difference in me that having friends, people to talk with and enjoy their company. It's made me be myself again. Well, I would tell them to choose Concord Park because I think that the staff that run Concord Park, you know, and I, I visited a lot of places. Um, I felt like the experience level of the people in charge, um, they all had a depth of experience that, you know, was is really kind of hard to beat. And because of that, you know, I think they can kind of help you zone in on, you know, really what your loved one needs and thinking, I've got a seasoned group, you know, in, of all the places I went to, you know, I felt like these people were kind of latched on to each resident's needs, had a wealth of experience, um, that my dad would be well looked after. They kind of got him. They always acknowledge her presence, which is a really, it sounds small, but it's a really big, big gesture to somebody like mom who kind of can go through her life and not realize what's happening around her. There's a lot left in my dad. I can tell he fought through a lot. And I think that being here, he has a better chance at living longer. It's actually, I think, helped me be, you know, kind of relax more into, you know, my proper place as a daughter. I mean, when I walk in and I see, uh, you know, the gas fireplace on and in the living room and people just sitting and listening to someone um, playing music or talking about current events, um, I'm so happy for everyone that's here. I actually think that he's taken, he's better taken care of than he would have been at home in all honesty.